Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are very fine. Very good. Very good. So, what's so, what's happening in your life? Everything's going great. Going great? Yes. You? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> very good. Yeah. So last time we talked about Mother Mary. Oh yes. yeah. Yes, and it was very interesting and useful. Very interesting, right? Yeah, she should be very lucky, right? She should be great privilege and honor by God. Yeah. So now we want to know more about Joseph. Ah, I expected, yes. There should be a question for, about Joseph, right? Yes, because um, the book of Matthew brings the genealogy of Jesus Christ. You know about ge uh, gene what is genealogy? Uh, the generation. Generations. You know, there is an important lesson. Once I heard a short story. Our first president, Dr. Rajinder Prasad, also had a question about uh, this, right? So one day, um, um, one day uh, he was not uh, getting his sleep. So he was walking in his room and he saw a book, a Bible in his library. Oh. So it was shining and he wants to read that. So he, he got the first page of Matthew. He was reading the genealogy of Jesus Christ that Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah like that every generation until the birth of Jesus Christ was written. So he started thinking, I'm the president of India. What's my father name? He was able to get. What is his father name? He was able to get it. And what is his father name? He was able to get up to three generations. After that, he was not able to get it in the names. So he was wondering how this information is recorded in Bible. So it should be something very, very unique. For example, what's your father name? Jabanayagam. Jabanayagam. And what is his father name? Yes, Andrew. And what is his father name? I don't know. See? You are in modern age and now you don't know about your fourth generation name also. Yes. But Bible records each generation by generation and until the uh, um, birth of Joseph it was written very clearly. And that's why uh, Rajendra Prasad was inspired and he started reading Bible it seems. It should be some, some very hidden truth should be here and he started reading Bible and that's why it's a great thing. There we see in the 13th verse that Jacob begot Joseph the husband of Mary. So the last one and the Bible says that Joseph was a very very just person it seems you know um, we read that um, her husband being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example was minded to put her away secretly so Bible says that uh, Joseph was a just, just person me. that means he, he, he was like a righteous person he wants to do justice for others he never harmed others he was living a life meaningful to him and for others also. He was a just man. And so, you know, what happened? But when Mary was betrothed to him, mm -hmm. he accepted Mary. But yes. when the concept of the Holy Spirit wants to bring Jesus into this earth and chose Mary, that was really not able to you know, accept. accept by Joseph. So because he was a just man, he didn't want to hurt Mary. He wants to secretly leave her. That was his, you know, justice. That was his character. But God honored that character. Because God saw him, he was a nice person. He was a man of justice. So, an uh, angel of God appeared in his dream. And he said, accept Mary. Because this is a divine plan. This is going to be a great thing. Because this is not only for one family. This is going to be a salvation for generations and generations. And for the entire world. And that is a great honor. And Joseph immediately obeyed and he took Mary wherever the God planned because he went for census to Bethlehem. From there he was again, um, uh, you, you know, he was warned by the angel to go to uh, Egypt to save the child. And then he stayed over there and then asked again by angel to go back to Nazareth. He all obeyed. And we see Joseph is not a rich man, by the way, but he know that he wants to lead a good life, exemplary life. So, Joseph is such a beautiful, gentle person, honorable person. And that's why God chose him as a father of Jesus in this world, right? Yes. If you live a life of justice, a justful life, a righteous life, God of righteousness, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will honor you. He will lift you up. 
even if the circumstances might be confusing or you may not be able to take a decision but remember if you are a man of justice definitely God will not leave you at any circumstances he will open the eyes he will open the ways he will open the mystery and make you understand and take right decision at the right time like Joseph and God, God bless you, you.